Hi, my name is Terence Dick and this is Views. This is part one of a three-part series on the home. It's called Home and Away. We're starting at the Gladstone Hotel in Toronto with their hard twist exhibition of textile-based art. Yarn is a craft material, but it can also refer to storytelling. As a material, it has associations with the domestic sphere. Knitting is something done in the home, a creative practice shared amongst family members. Some of the works in this exhibition make explicit reference to the home as a site of labor, community, family, and history. Spinning yarns or telling stories functions metaphorically in these works, taking the literal knots tied in the textiles and using them to reflect on or evoke our connections to the places that we come from. Kath Adele's Conductive Threads uses years of used tea towels and stitches them together to evoke the generations of largely women's labor in the kitchen. Lois Schklar ties mundane objects like buttons, fasteners, and beads to timelines that mark the passage of our everyday lives. Jackie Partridge's remnants uses her grandfather's farm work clothes. They trace the family history along seams of fabric. Next, we're gonna turn our attention to Leaving Home and Scrap Metal Gallery. Leaving Home or Going Away is another story entirely. This exhibition at Scrap Metal Gallery here in Toronto features artists connected with the Fogo Island Arts Residency Program in Newfoundland. It's called Belonging to a Place. An artist's residency takes artists out of their home. It moves them geographically, can move them socially, and potentially move them aesthetically. Most artists these days are self-aware enough to avoid colonial mindset. They're not there to capture that locale or the people within it. Artists also want to avoid the tourist's perspective. Instead, many of the artists in this exhibition are interested in that sense of displacement, of not belonging to a place. Marlene Crete's video documents the passage of broken ice as a ferry moves from one port to another, reflects the experience of a constant traveler, always in motion, never resting, never truly home. It's a great metaphor for the person, artists, traveler, who's always displaced. Paul P. paints faint watercolors of a barely there landscape. It's as if they're impossible to know, particularly for a visitor or a viewer. And once you've left, difficult to recall. They fade in your memory as time passes. Aslan Gazimov's video Volga provides a different angle on travel. You see a family gathering on a barren field, piling into a car and driving off. It reflects the experience of a refugee, someone who's been forced to leave their home and often left in limbo with nowhere to belong. It reminds us of how much we value home and how we manage when it's lost. Some displacement is a luxury, some a necessity, but all displacement is relative to a place where we belong, a place we call home. <laughs>